Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the finale for the full view project pen that I created. It was running through the fall period and it finishes when I'm uploading this update, so you'll see this on the 18th of November. It is the 11th, I am doing this a few days early, but on the 18th I am actually with family, so I'm not going to be able to film that weekend. So I'm pre-filming and I am aware that I could have an extra week of progress, but I feel like some of the things I wouldn't have finished up anyway, so. So what this was, was you had to pick 10 items that you really enjoyed or that you love, that you've had in your collection, you've maybe used it once, you repurchased it, it might be limited edition, so you're saving it for a rainy day, that kind of a thing. So you get used out of the things that you love, because when you pan, you concentrate well, I know I do. I concentrate on things that I want to move out of my collection and not things that I want to keep in my collection and use for a special occasion or when I'm feeling extra that day. So it was a way of motivating you to use up those products that you do enjoy before they go bad and you end up throwing them away without any use. With that in mind, it wasn't a project where you had to have all this progress and you had to finish up all the things. It was just a case of you had to use the items as and when, get some use out of it before it goes bad. So a lot of my items will be going back into my collection because I haven't finished them. I did, however, manage to finish four out of 10 items, which I think is great. And I very, very, very nearly finished one. So close. Which leads me on to, I don't actually have it with me. And that was, the Warm Vanilla Sugar Pocket Bag. The reason I picked it was because Warm Vanilla Sugar is my favourite Bath & Body Works scent, but it's actually at work. But I can tell you, and I have a, like one here to demonstrate with, that when it is upside down at work, and it's about to here, upside down. I'm so close to having this done. I'm sorry I don't have it with me to show you, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. I wasn't planning on filming this today, and last week I wasn't, I was working from home, so I, if I'd have been in work, I probably would have finished it, or even if I didn't finish it, I would, would have remembered to bring it home. But because that was over a week ago, and I didn't think about it because I didn't think that it, the update was coming so soon, I didn't bring it, and I don't have it to show you, I'm so sorry. The next item was the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And I have not marked this, but I have a feeling that the mark isn't going to move. Let me just get my light. So I went ahead and I shined a light through it, and I can confirm that it has not moved from this mark here. So that is my finishing point. I know it doesn't seem like there's a lot being used in here, but I don't use setting spray as much as I used to, to be honest. Where my face is not as oily as it was, I don't. it doesn't need to have as much setting holding in place type things because it naturally holds in place anyway maybe if i still had oily skin i would have used more than this but who knows anyway i will still enjoy that and it will go back in my collection the next item was a blush and the blush already made its way back into my collection i must have decided i wasn't making any more progress on it because when i was looking for it to show you guys now i found it in my drawer so, and it is the Urban Decay All uh, 8 Hour Afterglow Powder Blush in Fetish. And you can see that I've used it just around this area here. I love this blush. It's perfect for this time of year. But obviously I decided that I wasn't going to use it anymore because I put it... It's not the best swatch in the world. It's because it blends out so well. There we go. So yes, I was never going to hit pan on this, it was brand new when we started, well almost brand new <laughs> when we started. And the next one was the Avon Eyeliner, this is the Glimmer Stick Eyeliner in Starry Night Blue. And I did get some use out of this, but then I stopped using it to use other things. I'm not sure why I stopped using it, but there we are. It's just a really nice navy blue, that's that one there. And let's go ahead and see what it looks like on the paper. Oh, so I did actually get... Oh, I'm going to break that if I'm not careful. Oh, God. Okay, we're there. Quickly, look. Okay, that that's where I'm finishing. Um, so I did get some use out of it. Oh, quick, get it back in the tube before I break it. 
Phew. That was a close one. Like, seriously, it, I could feel it moving in the thing. Oh, okay. Right. So that's that one. I did get some use out of it, which I'm pleased about. And it's, you know, it's... I love those Avon eyeliners, so I'm not mad that I still have it. So, And that's the whole point of this project, is, you know, you just wanted to use the things for a while that you love, rather than focusing on things that you're not so mad about that you want to move out of your collection. The next one was a hand cream, which I depotted. It is in here, and I've not used it since the last update. So that is my finishing point. And the last item, then, was the Maybelline Baby... Baby... the Baby Skin Instant Fatigue Blur Cool Rose Primer. Um, I got down to here, which I don't know what I was doing, because when I shined a light through it again, I was up to here. And now I'm about down to here again. So, um, I have used some of it since the last update. I've been using this quite a lot, actually. I do enjoy it, especially now I don't have the need for a mattifying primer anymore. I did explain in my empties video just now that my skin seems to have changed throughout the year. Like, at the beginning of the year, it was oily all over. Like, oily all over, all the time oily. And then it was more, like, combo oily in my T-zone, normal all round. And now we seem to have gone to dry in my T-zone. And then the rest of the place normal. Like, I've even had some dry on my cheeks as well. Some I stay, say that there still counts as combo. So I'm calling it sort of somewhere between dry normal oily like combo in that range so i really enjoy this because i don't need the mattifying so much anymore so that's going back as well and that's all the items that i put into this the items that were also in this that i finished up was the philip kingsley elasticizer the avon nail polish in the molten metals that i finished up last time the alterna cc 10 in 1 hair cream thing and the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Mascara, which was in my empties that I filmed just now. And that's everything. Thanks so much for tuning in to this finale. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed the concept of the project. As it was my baby, I kind of feel a little bit proud about it. And I do have projects coming up next year that are my, I, my baby as well. So keep a lookout for those, and feel free to join in as and when they come about. But for this one, that's everything. I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.